So I'm going to talk a little bit about timber stacking now. Uh, for kilns, you generally put the timber in. I'm not going to spend too long drawing this, but you'll make a stack of timber and then running perpendicular to that stack are things called stickers, which are small pieces of wood between each piece of timber. So they run across that way and you build up a stack like this basically. I'm not, as I say, an artist. I'm a wood scientist so maybe that's uh, not artistically has huge merit but hopefully you get the idea. Um, and the idea here, we've got the stickers running that way and we've got gaps between the timber. The idea is that you have an airflow going in that direction through the stack. And the rate at which you dry this timber is going to depend on the moisture content of the timber and it's going to depend on how thick it is and there's all sorts of calculations at tables that allow you to set the parameters of the drying process in the kiln depending on the species of timber, uh, the moisture content of that timber uh, and what dimensions these pieces are. Um, this is a very commonly used process and to prevent distortion quite often big concrete blocks are put on top, it's called top weighting, very commonly used and that weight pressing down helps to prevent the sorts of distortions that you might get in a timber stack and this whole stack will be on some sort of trolley which you get rails coming out of the kiln so you wheel the whole trolley in uh, and it can be in there sometimes for several days but comparing this type of drying process with an air drying process air drying can take months or sometimes even years again depending on the type of timber the original moisture content um, and the temperature the rate of drying. So most kilns work by having uh, warmed air passing through the timber stack uh, which requires energy because you've got to heat the air up in the first place. Some kilns which are, tend to be for smaller sawmills or for private operators that are just sort of uh, just one person, small companies they might use something called a dehumidifier kiln. So they're not using temperature now. D, excuse me, dehumidifier. Doesn't even fit on the screen. So I'll write it somewhere else. Dehumidifier. So you're not heating the air up here, you're just drying the air out and that goes through um, a condenser basically, the air runs through the timber and you're taking moisture out of the air all the time so you've constantly got dry air going over the timber. So you're not using heat uh, and the timber tends to dry at more of a kind of its own rate in that case. Um, so you don't have the same problems you might get with a, a temperature kiln but uh, it's going to be a lot slower. So again like I say for large mills that have high throughput, high volumes they're not going to rely on this type of kiln. Air drying is, I say, much more something that would be used by the sort of craft type industry. Uh, and quite often, if you go to various countries, you will see stacks. Austria is a place you see this quite often. And you'll see a stack of timber. These are the stickers running through there. I'm trying to draw a cross section of a log. But for me, it's going to take a while, and for you, it's going to be very boring. <laughs> but I think you get the picture. So there's a log um, that's got a couple of wedges in there, stop it falling over. So that's a log that's been sawn, through sawn, stickers have been put in, and then it's just left, usually under cover of some description, but with an airflow. So that would be a very typical air drying arrangement, as I say. If you travel through Austria, you'll see lots of stacks like this, lots of family-owned sawmills using air drying. Tends to be preferred by people that make their own bespoke furniture, so craft people, this sort of thing. This is much more an industrial process. There's no particular advantage or disadvantage to either of these two processes. 
there are some people that say air drying is far superior, um, but that's not really true. It, it really depends on, it's more personal choice really. Okay.